Wrestling is not as popular as it should be. We're in the United States of America, the big three, basketball, baseball, and obviously football. Wrestling should be up there with those sports. When kids see the other sports, they see money. When they see wrestling, they see hard work and no money. Some of the qualities that you get from wrestling experiences include commitment, dedication, self-belief, and just a drive that you don't get from everything in life. Wrestling really does take a lot of dedication, showing up to practice every day, getting your butt kicked in practice every day, making weight, the biggest drawbacks in wrestling. Along with schoolwork, it takes a toll on you. And this is why I'm, I'm, I say dedication, commitment, and drive are some of those qualities that really come out when you're a wrestler. So I saw myself quitting up almost every day, but I kept coming back because I knew that there was an end goal. I think wrestling becomes a part of your identity in that everyday grind. When you show up to practice every day and you start reflecting on the things that you do and the things that you have to do in order to accomplish your goal, relationships, your job, school, they all take commitment and dedication. You see the parallels between wrestling and life and it just becomes natural and it just becomes a part of who you are. Wrestlers are like the Marines. Like you never ever stop being a Marine. You never ever stop being a wrestler. I think Beat the Streets has brought the, the New York City wrestling community together. We were like fractured. So Beat the Streets has brought everyone on the same page and as far as where we want to go with wrestling in New York City. So yes, we're competing against each other, but at the end of the day, we have one goal, which is to make New York City wrestling better.